This is clearly a speaker. So the clear scene, this is a little Bluetooth uh, portable speaker, which is kind of nice. It's uh, a speaker that we have spoken about a few times on the podcast recently because I think it looks like a little speaker that does everything. Looks good, it's USB type C, can use it indoors and outdoors, has tremendous battery life, but we'll go through all that right now. So, uh, designed in California, fantastic. Uh, and it's part of the United Soccer League, even better. Uh, own the moment. Around the back, it says extended play time, just our 12 hours play, play, playback. Rugged good looks with the IPX7 water resistance. Very nice. Hands-free convenience, so you can take calls and things like that while you're sitting down and listening to the tunes. Great. How do we get inside? No. Oh. Beautifully presented. It's a rather nice box. Doesn't quite open the way I'd have expected to open, but uh, okay. Yeah. There is the speaker. It's actually a bit larger than I imagined. Uh, we have some guff down to the side, which is uh, own the moment, which is a user manual for how to do things and stuff. There's a little cardboard package here that contains about a meter long USB type C cable with some fairly decent connectors on them or connections it's not going to get destroyed and it's quite flexible too a bit of foam and that's your lot and a nice factory smell I suppose what else are you expecting with a Bluetooth speaker? So here it is, and it looks also very nice. We have material across here. It's not terribly heavy, which is quite good, but it isn't absurdly, absurdly light. They say it's 742 grams. I'll agree with that. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's a rough texture across here. You, you know it when you touch it, um, that of what exactly I'm talking about. There's a nice sheen off it as well, which gives it both a balance between personally elegant and professionally elegant as well. You could use this on a desk in a meeting and, and get away with it. It looks professional enough, but it also looks cool enough to just sit on the side and, and droon out some tunes during a barbecue. Clear obviously says there, then there seems to be an LED of some description here. We have a plastic bar that's all the way along there, links driver to driver. And we have a piece of plastic, a rubber, rubber ice uh, foot on the bottom that it sits on. And you can see that it's got some writings there of, you know, CEs and things. Then we have clicky buttons on the top. A microphone minus plus and play pause. Then we have a power button around the back. We have a the USB Type C there plus a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then the Bluetooth button as well. It's charged with 100% battery through straight out of the box. Uh, it's got uh, HD audio, AAC, uh, loud access to phone calls, media audio and contacts grand i did notice there that these glow so you're not going to miss them in the dark and um, one thing that's missing is a micro sd card slot they seem to be missing those these days i miss being able to put in a little bit of extra storage just in case you don't have internet or something like that anyway so it's connected via bluetooth 5 and I'm just realizing that there might be NFC pairing on it somewhere, but I don't see a, an indicator 
anywhere. I think I read that off the spec sheet, or maybe I'm making that up. And we'll have a go at playing a little bit of the Tech Alex podcast, because it's just, it's the best thing to test any uh, Bluetooth stereo with. Stereo? Yeah. Um, because it's got music, it's got action, it's got adventure, it's got comedy, it's got romance. No, there's no romance. Absolutely no romance. Um, but yeah, it's got everything you could possibly need. Of course, it's free. This is Tech Alex. This week, it's the last podcast of the year, and we're chatting about the real me GT Neo 5 Dyson's headphones. Okay, um, playing that sounded fantastic. Uh, it sounded good, big, beefy. I could feel the, vi- the table move with the bass, um, which was kind of nice. It wasn't too overly bassy, but there was good enough of bass. Good enough bass. Uh, turning the volume up there sounded rather good too. Um, I didn't go all the way to the top because. <laughs> My wife's working downstairs and she probably wouldn't appreciate that. It has dual 48 millimeter Neo dynamic, dynamic drivers um, with uh, dual passive radiators as well to, to help sort of uh, give the sound a good bit of beefiness. And it's a frequency response of between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. The one thing I'm noticing is that it doesn't seem to have any smart features about it. It is a good old fashioned Bluetooth speaker. It doesn't try to shoehorn in Amazon's assistant or, or Google's assistant. Uh, you you kind of know where you stand with this. It's the old-fashioned way of, of just getting music via Bluetooth from your phone, which is really nice. <laughs> Tim Cook's seat, Amazon Luna, and much more. And it's Chris I haven't quite worked out exactly what the microphone is for. So having a quick look through some of the instructions, the LED only has a couple of functions on the on it. It does uh, power on, uh, which it's supposed to turn green. Uh, whenever it's pairing, it blinks. And whenever the speaker is connected to something, it should be blue. But I see that as white. I, I don't know if it's just me. Oh, that's pacing really high. Shh, Ted. Yeah, I'm going to say that there isn't NFC on it. I can't find a thing anywhere, and it doesn't mention NFC anywhere in the manual. So anyone who tells you that it does have NFC will have to justify it by following it up with facts, hard facts. Using the buttons on top, the volume button, if you short press it, obviously does the volume down and volume up. If you long press it, it should skip tracks. And the music, play pause. If you are in a call, you just hit the play pause button to call to hang up after the call is over. Relatively simple. And I'm guessing from the manual it says that this is mic on and off. So maybe if you're in a call and it's all going through this, you can hit that button. It'll turn your microphone off so that the caller doesn't hear you. And then you can hit it again and it turns back on again. There isn't much travel in the buttons, but there is a, enough of a click that you know you've pressed it. And I'm just going to have to go in and play some tunes on this and give you my overall feedback as to whether or not I think it's a good speaker or not. So this is a test of the Clear's microphone. It is sitting about a foot away from my face, but I believe since people are going to be using this to talk to people by phone, I'm going to get up and walk around the room. And I'm perusing the rest of the room in deep thought, concentrating as I walk. Well, I'm now about three metres away from the unit. And now about four, but I'm facing the unit now at four meters. I'm coming back round and cruising in the distance between three meters and now down to two meters and one meter. And here I am right in front of it again. Hopefully that sounded great. Okay, so we have spent Christmas with this little doohickey here. And um, I love it. I really do. I do have some concerns, but there's an awful lot about it that I like. Um, to start with, listening to music and taking calls with it is terrific. 
the audio quality out of the speaker is beautifully balanced and well set. It's not too bassy, but there's bassy, th there's bass there if you need it. Travels good and all that. It all just works very nicely, hence the word balanced, I suppose. Sound quality is excellent. Good speakers, good solid speaker. The buttons on the top actually proved to be a lot more useful than I had originally uh, anticipated. I thought they were maybe a wee bit plasticky and, and, and mucky on the top, but they are accessible and really easy to hit. You don't have to go over and look for something, and because it's that clicky style button, you uh, you know that you've pressed it when you've pressed it, which really is very handy, and that goes for all of them along the, at the top. The same can't quite be said for the two on the back. Hitting the power button, I thought I'd turned it on once. Oh, I did that time. But I tapped the button and I walked away and sat down and started playing some music and nothing came out and I had to go back and hit the button again and it turned on. That was once, I guess you get to know it. I guess you look for the color and you listen for the sound and things, but that one day was, <laughs> I had to get up again, so I was annoyed. Boy, oh, was I annoyed. The other thing I dislike is these being so exposed. It makes a big difference. This is a portable speaker um, and you're wary of these. I don't even want to touch it because it could damage it. I, I know there's a bit of plastic on here to give it a little bit of extra protection, but even still, I do feel there should be a grating or even just a, a, a mesh of this material across here in the event you were to drop it. Now, it is angled, so you're not going to hit it quite so easily, and it is recessed, so you're not going to hit it quite so easily if you were to drop it. However, you know you're going to drop it, it's going to hit off the edge of a curb stone on your way out to the garden or something. So it is one thing that I'm very concerned about. And also with children, I have one, uh, they do have fingers that like to touch things and push things, and it looks like a big button. And I'm quite tempted to push it, being a bit childish myself. Hit that and see what happens. It can happen so easily. And then you're going to be annoyed, really annoyed with yourself. Just, it's one other thing. Obviously, it would ruin this design dynamic. But as it's a portable speaker, I do think just that little bit of extra security over this, this speaker might have been might have been called for. Yeah, even if it's just a bit of mesh, you know, over there. But if you're going to be using it and it's going to be sitting on your desk, uh, in your office or whatever, and used for calls and used for music, then it's it's a really nice little speaker and you won't have those concerns about this but during the summer i do plan to take this out to the garden and have it sitting on the table when i'm having lunch and barbecues and entertain friends and family with it and whilst it's weatherized that makes perfect sense to be able to go out and do that and it'll give off a good amount of sound and quite easily control it from there and from your phone's uh, bluetooth uh, controls too uh, allows you to uh, have great flexibility. Now some people are going to say I do wish it had assistant but I'm all right with it not having assistant. I, I'm, I'm getting a bit tired of Google being built into everything or, a, or Amazon's assistant being built into everything. This is a speaker and it does speaker things. It's like harking back to the old ways of having a hi-fi that played music at you. It didn't need all these little extra bits. And instead of adding whatever it is they are required to put in, Clear are able to focus on bringing the best sound output to this device without having to worry about spending time on implementing Google or Amazon into this. And I've seen other speakers that have a really poor uh, implementation of the assistant so it's a breath of fresh air to have this uh, as just a good old-fashioned bluetooth speaker that does bluetooth sound terrific oh well and, and also it does wired sound as well if you if you need to because that, why not usb type c dead easy to find great i really do think the the few cons that i point out are negligible 
uh, you do, most people will probably ignore them and just enjoy having a really good quality speaker that does what it says on the tin. Well done, Clear. I love this. It's my favorite Bluetooth speaker I have right now, and I'll be using it quite a damn lot over the course of the year. I've got a funny feeling at the end of the year, I'll still be using it. So nice one, Clear. Exceptionally good value. 99 pounds on Amazon at the moment, and you know you're gonna get a really good speaker for that money. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn, ugh, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Happy New Year to y'all. Yeah.